Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. I've been working on a summertime sampler and I've recently completed all the blocks. They are all in previous videos on a playlist called Summertime Sampler. Here are the sashing strips that I'll be using. My blocks are nine and a half inches, so I chose a two and a half inch wide strip and I cut enough to go between the blocks nine and a half inches long and I will be joining these shorter strips between some blocks to make my rows. So I'll be sewing four blocks across and five rows of four. So that's 20 blocks and I'll have um, the information down below, but I'm going to begin by sewing them all together and getting my quilt top ready to go. are the five rows of four blocks each. Now I just need to cut four strips that are long enough to go between, which meant I had to cut the length of the fabric rather than the width if I didn't want a seam. So my fabric strips here needed to be 45 inches long. I made mine just a little bit longer just in case I didn't measure right. I always like to give myself a little extra room just in case I made a mistake. So these are a little bit longer, but I did need to cut the length of the fabric, not the width of the fabric, which oftentimes I do cut strips the width of the fabric, but that's only 44 to maybe 45 inches, not quite long enough. So now I'm gonna put my strips between my rows, and before you know it, I can add a border. So that I would get those sashing strips lined up, I marked using the, um, the seams from the previous sashing strip as I was going along. I just gave myself a little pencil mark so that when I join the next row, those um, sashing strips can line up with the sashing strips in the previous row.
After pressing my quilt top, I added borders and my borders are six inches wide. So when I was all done with my quilt and the six inch border all around, this quilt measures 54 by 64 inches. If you did sew along with me and have seen some of the previous videos, you'll know that I made a second quilt using the same block patterns but using different fabrics. So this is my scrappy version and in this version I'm using two inch strips. They're all nine and a half inches long because I'm using those colorful cornerstones between all of my sashing strips. I really like the way these little two inch squares worked as cornerstones in my quilt top here. I, instead of using scraps from my leftovers making these blocks, I went to my two inch square drawer here at home. I have a drawer full of two inch squares and I pulled some out that kind of went along with my quilt blocks. So here's my first quilt top using that really soft bluish green background and those warm orange yellows and greens, really pretty fabrics, all solids, but I really like the way this quilt top turned out. Here's my second quilt top and I like this one so much I've decided I'm going to make some more blocks and so this was a good place, a good stopping point for me. I will come back to this quilt in the future, add some more of the same blocks, some more reds and blues and greens and yellows and I'll make this quilt top a little bit bigger because it just is so sweet. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.